just a few remnants over Florida right now, producing some soaking rains here and there and a few thunderstorms. We certainly saw rain and lots of it and including Karen's moisture all the way up into the Ohio Valley, portions of the deep south. A little bit of flash flooding over the weekend as a result of that, but that is dissipating now as well. Still plenty of moisture here in the port portions of Florida and even a line of thunderstorms that's developed here between Sebring and Fort Myers. We'll still see more of that moisture coming ashore here. So, you know, you got to continue to watch this for a little while longer for the possibility of maybe some quick bursts of rain. But as far as a tropical storm, tropical depression, Nope, it's gone. Bye bye. We do have some other things that we're watching, not the least of which is a tropical storm here in the Pacific. This is Narda out here that could very well become a hurricane in the coming days, but it will be moving off toward the northwest and not affecting any land areas. Nothing to worry about there. We are watching a couple of other areas in the Atlantic, including this area of interest right out here just to the southeast of Bermuda. Now, the Hurricane Center gives this about a 10% chance right now of developing into a tropical depression. It is an area to watch, of course, being a little bit closer to the United States. Well, we're going to watch that closer anyway than the other area of interest, which actually we're calling Invest 98L now. As of uh, 8 o'clock, the reports say there are 25 mile per hour winds in the center, a central pressure of 10, 10 millibars. But it's expected to strengthen here in the coming days, and the National Hurricane Center says it probably has about a 30% chance of becoming at least a tropical depression before the week is out. All of the models indicate that this is going to be moving out over open water in the coming days, probably in a more of a westerly to northwesterly direction. So it's going to stay out over open water well into the weekend. Won't be a problem if ever at least for several days, but it is one of many things that we're watching here as we continue in the month of October when things can get a little bit dicey here during hurricane season.